Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna walk you through my go-to glam look. This lasts all day, looks great in pictures, and I'm using some of my Holy Grail makeup products. We're also using no studio lights today, just me, my natural skin, and my window. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Starting off with a fresh face, of course. First, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my brows. I'm using the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This one's in the shade Cool Cocoa. I also love the shade Bang & Brunette. This is just the best formula for outlining or filling in your brows, but I specifically love it for outlining because I feel like I can get super precise and it just gives me the perfect shape every single time. So I'm just taking this and just following along with my natural brow shape. And then I also like to spoolie through as I go just to coat the product onto my brow hairs evenly and make everything look nice and even. <laughs> I'm then gonna be filling in the rest of my brows using my e.l.f. Brow and Liner Cream. This one's in the shade Espresso, and I'm using this angled brow brush from Profusion, and I'm just gonna use this just to fill in the rest of my brows. I love this formula. It doesn't dry out. It's just so good, and it's only $4. And I also love this color specifically because it matches my dark hair really well. So I'm just taking this and just coating my brows. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. It is super pigmented. So then to clean everything up, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. This one's actually in the shade 70W and I love using foundation sticks to clean up the brows because the formula is a little bit thicker so I feel like it's perfect for getting a nice carved out super clean look. And then to blend that out, I'm actually using one of my favorite brushes. I use this every single time I do my makeup. It's the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's so good and I'm going to use this later on for my face too. It's just amazing. So Again, just kind of touching up my brows here, spooling through them, filling in any gaps, and now we can jump into the eyes. So I'm using the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. This is my favorite eye primer. A lot of favorites in today's video, um, but I love this because it makes your shadows last all day, pop, and they, I feel like, are a little bit more vibrant when you use this versus just using concealer on the lids. It's amazing. So I just use my finger to blend it out. And today I'm going in with my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love this palette for all year. It is the perfect, like, go-to palette with the perfect amounts of color and neutrals it's amazing so I'm starting off with the shade still shot which is like a really beautiful peachy coral color I'm using an Olimar cosmetics blending brush just to buff that right into my crease as my neutral blending shade I'm going in with some darker color so I want to really build this up and get it to be nice and peachy and bright and this is just gonna help the other shades to blend out really easily and look super seamless Then to add a little bit more warmth in the crease, I'm going in with the shade Baja. This is one of my favorite colors. It's super bright, very, very pigmented. It's one of the brightest shades in the palette. So I'm actually being really light-handed with it because I don't want it to be too orange, but I definitely want to add a little something in there. So I'm using a J Kissa blending brush just to buff that in there, add a little bit of dimension. And by the way, I'm obsessed with these brushes. They are so good. I'm going to be using quite a few of them in today's look, but they're amazing. So then to deepen everything up, I'm using the shade Hellride. Again, with another J Kissa brush. I'm just gonna use this color just to deepen everything up and I'm really packing it on because I love the way this looks with the lid shade that I'm gonna be using today. It's so pretty. It's like the most perfect like pinky, purpley, burgundy color. I love it. So I'm packing it on and I'm placing the color where I want and then I'm just using a different blending brush. I got this one from Amazon, super random, but I'm using it just to blend out that color and diffuse it with the other shades that we have going on in the crease. So pack it on, blend it out, build it up. <laughs> And then I'm just blending out the edges once again with the same J Kissa blending brush. If you have not tried these brushes, you need to. They are seriously amazing. I can't stop using them. So then I'm going to be mixing these two shades and I'm using a crown case brush. This is the 03 brush and I am going to dip my brush in the product and then I like to spray it with some setting spray just to really make it pop. And you can just see how intense and metallic-y and like foiled the eyeshadows look. They are amazing. And this brush is so good for either cleaning up your brows or doing what I'm doing here, or even cutting your crease. It is like the most amazing brush ever. So I'm really packing those two shades on and then I'm using that white haired brush from earlier just to diffuse the edges of like the center of my shadow just to kind of blend everything together. I'm only taking these colors about a halfway on my lid. I don't want it all over my lid because I still want to keep the darkness in the crease. 
but oh, they're so pretty and I just love the combo of them together it's kind of like a gold almost like light champagne color it's so gorgeous and it's just the perfect addition I feel like with the shade Hellride it's like the perfect combo so I'm adding a little bit more of the shade Hellride just to again make that a little bit dark I don't want to lose any of the colors so I'm pretty much just kind of adding them back in a little bit and just blending out the edges making sure everything looks nice and blended And then I'm taking my e.l.f. eye tapes, which I love, and I'm just using this to make sure that my wings are as even as possible. And I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is like the best felt tip liner at the drugstore. It's super black, very easy to work with. And then when you use the e.l.f. eye tapes, it makes it that much easier to work with. So I'm doing a pretty dramatic wing today. We're going in with lashes, and this is like a more glam look, so I feel like a winged liner is definitely called for and it's appropriate with this eyeshadow look. This one got a little messed up but in the end it worked out. This is my bad eye. The other eye always cooperates with me. This one it just never does but I always make it work. At least I try to. And then I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara. This is the Essence Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. I'm going in with falsies which are totally optional but you know me, I'm extra, and I like to add a little extra something to my look, so for me, falsies are always a must. And of course, I'm using the Elf Foam Mink Lashes in the style Drama Queen. Obsessed with these lashes, and then my favorite lash glue is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. When you remove the tapes, you can see how sharp and pointy the line is. It's amazing every single time. And then I'm going to tight line my upper waterline with the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This one's just in the shade Swerve. While my lash glue dries, I'm just going to move into the skin and prep it. I'm taking the Milani Fruit Fetish Spray. You can use this before and after makeup. This is the Dragon Fruit Peach one. It smells like summer. It's super refreshing, and I've been obsessed with these sprays lately. They're so good. And then to prime my skin, I'm using the Haley's Beauty Refine Foundation Primer. You can just see how smoothing this is. This is like one of the best pore filling primers I've tried in a while. It's a really good dupe for a really expensive Smashbox primer, and I've tried to show you the difference. I hope you can see it. Like in person, you can just see like how smooth the one side looks compared to the other it's so good and this is one of those products where a little bit goes a long way and you can see like the result I feel like immediately it just makes your skin look super smooth and airbrush it's perfect under any foundation so today I'm actually mixing two of my favorite foundations. The Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation is so good. The shade 240 at the moment is a little too light for me. So I'm mixing in some of the Haley's Beauty Reform Liquid Luxe Luminous Foundation. This one's in the shade 4.30. I'm mixing that in right on the back of my hand. And then here you can see I realized I forgot to put on my lashes. So I'm just popping those on just with some tweezers. You can see they're like the perfect, not too dramatic lash. It's definitely a great everyday lash for me. I feel like they're not too over the top. They're definitely a little bit more glam but I think they're so pretty and they're really easy to apply even though the band is a little bit thicker I love them so I'm using an elf total face sponge here just to blend out my foundation I love these foundations on their own but mixing them together is so pretty the Haley's Beauty foundation is a really great mixing foundation I mix it with a lot of my favorite foundations and I just feel like it just makes them look that much better the Fenty one is a great hydrating everyday foundation but the Haley's one is too it just has a little bit more coverage I don't know I'm always mixing my products whenever I have like two favorites I like to mix them and I feel like I love the products even more so I don't know try it out mix your two favorite foundations and see what happens I always like to do it and I always end up loving the result Then for concealer, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This one's in the shade Golden Natural. I still have a super awkward tan going on, so this might look a little bit too light for me at the moment, but in the end, it all comes together and I end up making it work. So it's gonna look a little scary at first, but bear with me. So I'm using the same e.l.f. Total Face Sponge just to blend it out. I blend it out under my eyes and then I take any excess product and I just blend it out onto the rest of my face just to highlight the bridge of my nose and between my brows and also around my mouth a little bit. And then I just use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend out the inner corners. I told you guys this is my favorite brush for concealer and just for getting really precise. It's so good. So I'm using my Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Fair with my Fenty 125 face brush. This is the best brush for cream bronzing. I know it's expensive, but it's just so 
good. So I like to apply the product onto the back of my hand and then from there I will take the brush, stipple it onto my skin. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more of like a softer, more wearable look. This product is super pigmented and it can get really muddy really quick. So just be careful and use a little bit. This brush works with any cream product, it's amazing. Now for powder, I'm gonna use my Haley's Beauty Retouch Perfecting Loose Setting Powder, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Again, I'm mixing the two just because I kinda want the best of both worlds. The Haley's Beauty Powder is more on the matte side, and the e.l.f. one has a little bit of like a glowy finish, so I just, I wanna mix the two. I love mixing this powder in again with other powders. It's amazing. I've mixed it in with several of my other favorites, and it works really good every time, and of course, I love it on its own. It's beautiful. It gives you a really beautiful, soft airbrush finish. It looks great in pictures, and I know, again, it's gonna look a little scary here at first, but I promise everything is gonna come together in the end. And my favorite way to apply my powder is with a sponge. I feel like it gives you the softest look. It's not powdery and it's just super airbrush. I'm obsessed. Then my favorite bronzer is from Fenty. I mean, of course, everything in here is my favorite in today's video, every single product, but this is the Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. I like recently just hit pan last week on this bronzer and I've had this for forever. It lasts such a long time. So I'm using this brush from e.l.f. actually. It's from their Retro Paradise collection and I love it for powder bronzer because it gives you that natural chisel. It does a good job at kind of just stamping in the product and just giving you a really soft yet defined look. It's really good. And then I'm using that same bronzer with a Japanesque 726 brush just to lightly contour my nose and make it look a little more snatched. And then for blush, I'm using Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. This is the best everyday color or even for like a more dramatic look like today. It is perfection. It's like literally a toasted cinnamon color. I love the formula. It's super long wearing and it just looks good with any look that I do. So I'm using this brush from Amazon just to stipple that on in upward motions just to blend it up towards my bronzer. I also like to do blush on the nose because I just love that like kind of sunburn look on the nose. I think it's so pretty. And then for highlighter, my favorite golden glow is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is the perfect golden highlighter. The formula is super intense and buttery I'm just dipping my brush just a little bit and a little bit of this will give you that intense look so I'm putting this on everywhere down the bridge of my nose above my lip on my chin basically the high points of my face I end up also using this in the inner corner of my eyes as well and on my brow bone just because I feel like it truly is that perfect golden shade I'm also using that same sponge from earlier just to blend the highlighter out a little bit and tone it down make it look a little bit more seamless on the skin and then since we're all done with the powders I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Black just to take away from that powdery look on my brows but also set my brows into place. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm just gonna use the same two colors that I was using in my crease, Hellride and Baja on another J. Kissa brush. And I'm just smudging that out. I feel like this really brings the eye look together. And it also takes away from the fine lines that I have under my eyes, because I do get like those natural creases under there. And I feel like adding a little bit of shadow helps a ton with that. And then here I'm just using the same Ofra highlighter from earlier and I'm spraying my brush just to make that pop a little bit more right in the inner corners. And this brush that I'm using is actually from Luxie. I got it in a BoxyCharm last year. I'm also gonna coat my lower lashes with some mascara and this is the same Essence one that I was using earlier. This does a really good job at lengthening, separating, and also adding some volume to the lashes and it even shows up on my baby lashes. So it's a really good mascara and it's only five bucks. And then for the eyes, the final thing I'm gonna do is just line my waterline and I love this liner because it actually matches my earrings. It's the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This one is in Peach Fuzz. I usually love matching the liner that I use with what I'm wearing. It's just like the little details that I feel like bring everything together. Then to finish off this look, I'm using the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Cafe Ole number 160, and these are super creamy. They just glide on the lips. They don't break. It's such a great formula, and I love this color. So I love this lip liner on its own, but I also love adding Milani Saucy Toffee over top. It's a little bit darker, more of like a brown lip liner, and I like mixing the two. I feel like it just creates that perfect brown nude shade. So I'm adding this on over top, and then I'm using my finger just to mesh the two colors together. Again, super creamy. You could line 
line your entire lips with this and it honestly feels like a lipstick the formula is my favorite so to top that off I'm using the Milani lipstick in Bahama beige this color is always in my purse it's just like that go-to shade for me looks good with any lip liner any eye look and the formula is amazing so I'm definitely a gloss kind of girl and my favorite is Fenty gloss bomb in the shade sweet mouth it's just like that perfect sheer baby pink and then just to set everything into place, I am of course using the same Milani Fruit Fetish Spray from earlier. I love this one and the coconut one. They're my two favorites. So that is pretty much it for my go-to glam makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. I love you guys. Thanks for being here and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.